Greetings entrepreneurs. I am here live again and I basically wanted to talk about briefly and this is part one of the making of an entrepreneur. So what do you mean Michelle about the making of an entrepreneur? Well what I mean is some entrepreneurs have been made or what I would say maybe even pushed into this space of entrepreneurship and I'm hoping that this is not too dark because I'm seeing it from below. But they have been pushed into entrepreneurship because of an interruption in life, something happened, and it basically pulled out that entrepreneurial spirit within them. And I'll just give you a couple of examples. It could have been maybe an elderly parent that that person had to take care of, where now they couldn't work a full-time job. Maybe it could have been a, a sick um, child or sibling Maybe it could have been even in the form of a bad marriage where it ended in divorce and now the spouse has to basically earn a living for themselves where they could have been a stay-at-home mom raising the children and now they are thrown into this place of uncertainty and um, unsurety where they are not knowing like what am I going to do how I'm going to make it out of this situation so sometimes entrepreneurship doesn't just show up as oh let me do this I have a great idea you know I can sew I can do this it doesn't sometimes show up that easy or we get that burst of inspiration to start our own business sometimes it happens in the point of where this needs to work because right now I'm at a place where I need to find what is it that I'm good at or what skills have I assessed over the years through jobs or through you know corporate America or whatever that may be what you know talents do I have what can I do when I, what am I good at what do people come to me for the most part about so when we get thrown or life throws us these curveballs then now we can come to the table and say wait a minute I'm not going to allow this situation or this circumstance to take me out because life throws a curveball because it knows that there is something that you were created to do, something that you were born to do, and it has to put you in a place of that being uncomfortable. And I think we as who are sometimes creatures of habit, we love being comfortable. We love being in that comfort zone. But when our world gets shaken up and we are forced out of that space, it causes us to either reinvent ourselves. It causes us to be in a place where now we are discovering truly who we are and what we've truly learned because in this space I've heard entrepreneurs that would come to the table and say well I don't you know certain things I'm I don't know or certain things that you know I'm still you know learning and I do understand as far as the digital space goes I do understand as far as knowing about ads and funnels and all of those things of that nature but what I'm talking about is the skill set that you bring to your audience whether that is some professional background that you have maybe you went to college and you have a degree in something and now you want to utilize that to help you to make ends meet because a circumstance or situation has arised in your life where now you can put that to use to bring income into your household so now you're not dealing with this situation from a standpoint of feeling defeated you're dealing with a situation of being empowered but you didn't know the powers there until something had to spark it and that's why we you know will hear sometimes that entrepreneur spark or we get this you know that entrepreneur spirit it didn't just come about we were not born as entrepreneurs but we became it because either we got frustrated or you got frustrated because you're at this job you're not appreciated you're underpaid you're overworked and it just lit something in you to say you know what I'm tired of this. I have to find a way to make my life better. I have to find a way to do something that I love to do where I'm feeling that it is part of my purpose. It's, I don't want to be sitting in traffic for two hours and, you know, dealing with the car that's breaking down and all of these life issues that we deal with. And the truth about it, when we get into entrepreneurship, there's still going to be struggle there. But guess what? You've already been prepared for it because life threw you that curveball not to basically take you out of the game, not to defeat you, but to empower you to rise above it and to know 
what your strengths are and even the weaknesses that you may find within yourselves that you can improve upon them by either adding other people to help you and encourage you and build a team around you of even if it's just people supporting you on your journey so I just wanted to come over here and let you know that the making of an entrepreneur is not always that glamorous Photoshop picture that we may see it may not be some pristine looking office that we all sometimes desire or that laptop sitting on the beach it could be just as simple as you maybe at your kitchen table maybe cooking in your kitchen or whatever that may be I mean if you even would see behind the scenes of how I have this camera propped up with an envelope because I don't want it twisting and turning that is just part of entrepreneurship. It's about taking what you have, taking the resources that you have. Sometimes we as entrepreneurs, we look so much without. We look outside of ourselves to basically, you know, what can I do? What who can I bring or what can what, you know, who can help me? And we fail to look within because that's what the the keys are within you. They just need to be unlocked. And life sometimes throws you that curveball because it wants you to get the clue. Listen, there's something in you that you were created and meant to do. So I came not to defeat you. I came to push you into your purpose. And I had to do it by stirring it up, by causing some type of adversity to come so you would find the power and the strength within you that lies within you. So now when your business is going through its changes, you're not going to buckle. You're not going to fold. You're going to basically know that it is supposed to happen. Now, in part two, I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk about adversity as far as being an entrepreneur and why it is necessary for you to embrace adversity in your business and face adversity even as you're growing as a leader, as a business owner, and why it's good for adversity to be part of your walk in your life. So I just wanted to come over here and give you those tips and I will be back with you on the next video to continue this series, this brief series on the making of an entrepreneur. So have a great day and I'll be with you on the next video. Bye-bye.